Welcome back everybody, this is Alon Paul with another video about No Man's Sky. So today we're going to continue on with the submissions in regards to expanding the base. So our last one that we did was tried to focus on the scientific research, but we still have some time waiting to talk to him. So we're going to go back to expanding the base, we're going to return to the Overseer, and we're going to get a new terminal. So let's talk to him, see what he has to say. Things are aligning. We are now ready. Pardon me. Let's try that again. We are ready now for a Gek farmer to join us. Indeed, I have already prepared their content, contract. All you need to do is gather the selenium required to finalize their workspace. Workstation, pardon me. Twelve Gek Hay grows in confidence and seeks again to expand my home. I find it hard to disagree with him, for a farmer would open up a world of possibilities. And yes, it does. The Overseer needs selenium to complete the agricultural terminal plans. Selenium grows on scorched planets and requires hazmat gauntlets to harvest. Except, selenium is, not, selenium is not easy to acquire in the wild, but this only proves the value of recruiting a farmer. So we should get... That's interesting. Do we have hazmat gauntlets? I do not. Can I make them? Oh, I can. It gave me the recipe and I didn't even know it. Uh, let's put that over here. Our chromatic metal and sodium nitrate. We'll go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we have those and we can acquire plants now. Certain plants that we couldn't acquire before. And we really need to upgrade the starship one of these days. So I can get to other things. Now, let me check the current system in engine. You can go to discoveries and you can check out planets. That one we don't know about. This one has copper, mordite, magnetized ferrite. Magnetized, magnetized ferrite, copper, paraffinium, magnetized ferrite, high sentinel, and the planet that we're on currently. This one we've never seen. I think it's a frozen world, if I remember correctly. So we're going to have to go to another system. And I think that's what it's directing us to do. I'm going the wrong way. Let's head over here. So let's go to our menu again, go to our log, and make sure that we have the right mission. Uh, expanding the base. Okay. It's found on Scorched Worlds, as you said. And it'll probably give me another message saying there's no current systems in your area that have these. So, we know that world. That's the world I've never actually landed on in this system. See? And I guarantee you... Frozen, see? No selenium. So we're going to have to go elsewhere. Uh, let's see. Now, we know we've installed our economy scanner. So while in this mode, if you hit your R button on your keyboard, it expands out the area. Now, you don't know completely the combat for a system like, for instance, conflict area in this. It has data unavailable. I need a conflict scanner to see that. But I can at least see the, the economy of a system. Why is that important? Because you want to look for economies that are at least two, two star. I prefer three star. See that one there? Not good. You're not going to get good prices on anything there. Especially when you're selling stuff that you've acquired. Uh, so the economy in our own system is a three star, so that's good. So we need to find a system that has a scorched planet. So let's escape out of this real quick. Let's go back to our discovery network. And you notice we have all these places that we've been, okay? This system has a base on it, so let's check it out real quick and see what kind of planets we've got. We've only discovered a few. So we got Miasmatic. And, you, and it tells you at the top, it tells you what is the main ingredient in the planet as far as the plants are concerned. So fungal mold here, fungal mold, and selenium. So selenium we can get in the system here. We happen to have a base in this system. So rather than do this, let's go take a quick... Well, you know what? We could just go to our base on our planet and take the porter, teleporter there. But no reason to do so. Let's just go ahead and jet over here real quick. It'll be just as quick at this point. So let me pause and I'll come back as soon as we get there. And here we are. We've just arrived and you see that there's the planet we're looking for. Now we have a base on a different planet. It's not on this one. Um, it's actually if you go to the first person view you'll see there's a planet behind there. 
we didn't create a planet here, uh, a base here. It's on the other planet behind it. So I'm going to land in a more lit up area. So I'm going to try to land over there. So I could see things just a little bit better. And we need to find plants, okay? Plants will show up on your radar, but they're going to be bright reddish, orangey, yellowish, I don't know, somewhere in that general area. Let the let the terrain pull in. You see we've got some wacky plants here and there. There doesn't seem to be anything special. Oh, that nice high-pitched noise is so annoying. There we go. It's gone. Hmm. Is that... That's just a little mini. No, the landing pad, pad's there. Let's take a look around real fast. So we're looking for plants that we can harvest. And it takes sometimes a couple moments for them to build in while you're flying. Hmm. Floating crystals. Those are handy. If we want a little extra money, let's go ahead and land here. I'll, I'll harvest that too while I'm here. And all we need to do is look around. It tells us that there's something within 580 of this general direction. There you go. Solar vines. That's what we're aiming for. We'll highlight that. But while we're here, why don't we show you this real quick? Uh, wrong button. Mining beam. Hopefully there's no sentinels here that'll attack us when we get these. But these are very handy. We get glowing minerals from them that turn into something else. And occasionally we'll get some nice stuff out of it. It will never give you anything other than the glowing minerals. But oh, I don't need salt. Let's get this one. Since there's quite a few of them here, this becomes very much worth my time. I gotta get rid of that in order to get to that, so... The salt is handy to get later on. Uh, no more minerals there. Let's get this one. Okay. So let's show you what we got. We got salt. Uh, I'll hang on to it. I'll put it in my ship. Twelve of these. So this is what we get out of it. This is probably worth a decent amount. We'll put that in my ship. These are all worth decent amounts of money. You can turn these into other items too if you put them in your... Uh, uh, hold on, I know this. Yeah, the thing that converts things into other things. Refinery. Good grief, I don't know why I couldn't remember that word. This you can immediately turn into gold. So we got that taken care of. But these, if you put them in your refinery, they'll go ahead and turn into other items. But they're valuable in their own right, as you can see. So I picked up uh, several hundred thousand dollars worth of uh, credits worth of items that we needed. So let's head over here to our solar vine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Announcements, announcements, announcements. I expect there'll be a storm while we're here. I'll get past that dude. A little bit of a hilly terrain here. Let's go this way. Hello there. I've already discovered, I think, all the creatures on this world. Grab a little oxygen while we're here. Get used to picking things up as you go. It's just... Should become second nature to you to do so. And there's the solar vines. So solar vines are an interesting substance, as you can see. We've got a nice crop of them here, though. Large and small combined. They'll look as big as this. And you just got to look at them. As long as you have hazmat gauntlets, you'll collect the selenium. I'm going to harvest all of them. Because you will need it down the road a ways. Even though it tells you, hey, you've got enough. No, you don't. Because you're going to want to plant these plants later on. 
and make your own and you need selenium to make selenium just like you need seeds for plants hello what are you carbon okay not worried about it looks like there's another plant here and I can't seem to get it there it goes Ugh. you're annoying me there we go okay and looks like one more okay any more here I don't think so Oop. yeah looks like we have one down there I missed somehow yeah I did yeah yeah, yeah. I'll fix it in a minute there we go. How much did we end up with? 369. That'll work. Uh, let's see. So we can head back to our ship or we can call it in. Let's go ahead and recharge this. I'm going to use one of my batteries. Uh, Repull my ship in. Hi there. Let's pull you in right here. One of the best features. You can't do it during combat, but man, it comes in handy when you just don't feel like running all the way back to your ship. Mm, thrusters at 69. Let's see how well it recharges later on. Oh, what do you know? Hmm. Okay. So we're done here. So we could go to our base and teleport back, but we'll go ahead and take the uh, and take the hyperspace lanes in order to get there. All right. See you on the other side. And we're back, so let's go ahead and get over here to the toil gack. It is good to see you, friend. I trust the Vikings technology kept you safe. I have the selenium required to finish the plans for the farmer's workstation. It will be interesting to see what effect a second gack will have on my overseer. I cannot imagine they have spent much time conversing with the scientist or the armorer. Give the selenium. Ah, to farm. We shall exploit the earth free at last from the sentinels and praise the glory of trade. Practice, practice the dwarf glory of trade. So we got an agricultural terminal we can build. We have plenty of resources to do that with. Once you have secured our farmer, you will want to trade unhindered to profit from our glorious harvest without being dragged to and fro. Never fear, friend, for I shall make it so. All I require are a few circuit boards to finish the plans for a trade terminal of our own. The overseer requests circuit boards to create in order to create a galactic trade terminal blueprint. The Scorvac scientist should be able to provide the necessary parts. Except, I do, do not have the zeal for trade that seems to seize the GAC. Nevertheless, it would be convenient to tap into the galactic market from right here in my home. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and build the trade terminal here for the farmer. problem with doing the farmer here is that you need room to make other things. So I'm going to do something a little different here. It... it because they require a lot. So we're going to do that. A lot of room. And I'm going to build one more over here. And I'm shy of my pure ferrite in order to do so. Let's go ahead and make some more. Hmm, good. Kept a supply for once. About 600 ought to do. And I really need to learn glass windows so I can let some light into these places they annoy me okay I think we need a little over a hundred should be enough okay there we go let's build that now one thing we want to do is now that we've added more things that absorb electricity check your network so it looks like we still have 45,000 in the grid storage so we should be good because as you add more things you may have to create more items in order to keep your system your, your system charged so anyway moving along so i'm going to put him over here because we will need this space in order to put in plants and stuff like that now i'm not going to take that one down the rabbit hole i'm not going to do the farmer missions uh the agricultural missions if you will uh, but I want to at least get them in here and get that whole series of missions moving along just to get that done. I'm not a big fan of the farming missions. You will get acquire all the plants necessary 
and it's just you're slogging. It's a lot of grind, moving from system to system to system, going to specific planets, acquiring specific plants, building those plants. The plants are very handy. I will not say, I cannot say enough about that. I will not say they're not worth it. They're definitely worth it if you want to go through those missions. It's just, again, going from system to system, harvesting plants, building the plants, letting them grow, letting them get their own harvest, and harvesting them again, and then going back to your agriculture guy in order to turn it in. Um, those plants are handy down the road as you combine them with other items to make more items that are, pardon me, make items that are more valuable. Um, I can show you that, but I, I actually have a chart that lays everything out. You can produce items over time with, with large groups of other items. You can produce items that are very, very valuable and can get you money real quick if you do it right. Um, I currently have on one of my main saves huge farms, huge farms on multiple worlds to acquire all the items necessary to build the most expensive items in the game that are worth over 15 million credits each, each item, and you can stack them. So you can walk away with a bunch of stacks. I have enough farms right now that I can create all the items necessary to have multiple stacks to get me 4 billion units every single time I turn them all in. So if you're running low on a little bit of credits, that's the way to go. But it's a lot of grinding to create a base that big. If it's multiple bases. You could not possibly contain all the plants necessary to do that in one base's sphere. It's multiple bases. Plus, if you were to create that all and you were to expand it by glitch building out further, it would take up so much room. Um, you're, I trust me, I don't care what video card you're running in your system. It would task it to the extreme. Your game will crash. I guarantee you, it will crash. So no use in even trying to build that unless you can build it on multiple planets. It's an interesting thing to create. I wanted to get that achievement. It's not some kind of skill or special achievement that you get. I just wanted to do it on my own, and I did it one time. So, I, again, I'm not going to go through the agricultural missions. I will get the guy from the space station in order to get our agricultural dude. So let's get him at least and hire the base farmer. We're going to get the coordinates. There we go. It's outside our local system. No big deal. Let's hire the farmer and at least get that taken care of. And then we're going to go back and do the main mission again. And that should get us to where our scientists should be ready to talk again. And you see it's sending us straight to a system that we... I don't think we've, never, we've ever been to this system itself. So we'd want to stop at the space station anyway, so we have more space stations that we can get resources from. I probably could have paused here and waited, but eh, we're almost done. We'll be there in a second. Hopefully not a space battle. Guess what? It's a space battle. You can fast forward past this if you wish. No, that was quick. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Looks like they're all over here. Uh, he's too far away. Why am I not going for the guy that's closer? <laughs> that was done just right. Eh, Viking effigy. No big deal. Let's get back to him. Don't shoot at your ship, at your freighter. Next, I got a Gek Relic. That's nice. Uh, there we go. Get him away from the other ship. I think I hit that other ship a little bit too hard. Might have hit the freighter there. Uh, no more ships? Alright. I'm not going to bother with this. If you ever wanted to know... Oh, you know what? That's a good idea. Let me show you what happens if you decide to land at this ship. 
I don't think this is the top, is it? No, it's not. We're on the bottom of the ship. I hate that. Let me show you what happens if you decide to jump onto the ship. This is the Star Destroyer size. It's not the largest size, but it is kind of a cute ship. Watch it be an S-Class. I'll be upset. So I want to show you this real quick. So you could... I don't know why he's still talking to me. You could save up enough cash to buy a second ship, but I want to show you the value of it. Let's take a quick peek. This is a C-Class, okay? C-Class. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to go through all that again. Inspect the freighter. Okay. Look at the cost. 34 million just for this little C-class freighter. 34 million. Not worth it. Not worth it. And I got the other one for free, which was an A-class. You can imagine how valuable it is. So we're going to request payment instead. And what will we give us? Cargo bulkhead. My standing goes up with the GEC by two. 235 nanites, 371 gold. So you get a decent payment if you want to do that. You get a decent payment if you want to do that. It's completely up to you. So what do we get as far as these is concerned? Phase beam module. Okay, we could turn that in for credits. Okay. This is okay. I'm going to put you down here for now. So we're going to turn, put that in my main inventory with my ship. I got some batteries out of it, too. And we'll be able to sell some of that. Plus, we've got a cargo bulkhead, which is really cool. We can expand the, the size of our own freighter. So that's a good idea to stop at these, and you can get freight cargo bulkheads on occasion. All right, somebody wants to talk to me. Who is it? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, okay, this is the... Um, for those of you who play on PC who don't play on Switch, on the Nintendo Switch, that is the quest for a settlement. And you can take over and govern your own settlement. Um, I'm not going to worry about that just yet. I might do that on another video at some day, some point, who knows. But they're interesting. They're not my favorite missions in the world, but they're interesting building out a settlement and trying to get it up to a higher class of settlement. It's tough. It can be a grind unless you get an A-class settlement to start with and then you can turn it into an S-class. If you're starting with a C or B-class, it's very, very tough to get that settlement up to snuff. And you probably will never get it higher than one more upgrade. Alright, so we're here. Um, we're not going to do Planet in Distress. Agricultural Research. So where's my guy? He's up there. See how it changed the mission on us, though? So what do we do while we're here? Take a look around, make sure there's no travelers here. We've never been here before. Travelers are translucent and you'd see them in a heartbeat. They always look different. Okay. Uh, let's sell those couple of items. We're not going to sell this even though it's worth a lot. We'll use that on our own freighter later on. Uh, Viking. Gek. And that's it. Just get some extra units out of it. Let's talk to this fellow over here. Prospector. Uh, vets. Friend, you have worked for me, yes? I have served in the finest kitchens and gardens across 12 systems, and each one producing prize-winning cuisine. I grow all my own ingredients. Hire me, yes? The Gek jerks happily at the sight of me. They promised to help me grow all kinds of crops on my world. They require, the required paperwork has already been signed, apparently. Farmer offers to join my world and make use of my agricultural, agricultural terminal? Accept. Thank you, friend. Neither you nor your stomach shall regret it. Now, yeah, they'll make stuff on occasion for you, but it's, you know, it's up to you. You don't have to if you don't want to. Easiest way to do this, go back to your base this way. And I'll see you in just a moment. And we're back, and we're going to go visit our new agricultural guy. And there he is. Let's talk to him and complete the mission. This is a home of glass and metal, Traveler. It is in dire need of my touch, but no need to fear, for I've come well equipped for such work. 
so he gives us the gut rot flower, large hyponic trays, and hyponic, regular hyponic trays. Okay? Your first lesson will teach you to embrace the dirt, friend. The earth provides life and death, after all. Take this hydroponics tray and these gut rot flower seeds, grow the flower, and see how fine it feels to produce life. Prospector Vets has, is already bedding in nicely. They have bedding, really? They have already given me the means to beautify my home. If I prove, prove myself a worthy farmer with this gut rot flower, perhaps they will share more of their agricultural secrets. We can accept that, which I'm going to for now. Wonderful, my friend. Soon our home will be filled with the delicate perfume for which this plant was named. Uh, okay. Okay, it's telling us what we've acquired. So if we want to do that, let me just show you real quick. We want to land a hydroponics tray. We're going to need... Uh, metal plating. I'm only going to do the single one because I only have a little bit of pure ferrite on me at the moment. So we'll need two... There we go. Metal plates. Just to show you how this works. We're going to build the one hydroponics tray, which you can build anywhere. See? We'll put it there for now. And to produce a gut rot flower, you need Fecium. As the name implies, it's poop. I don't think we have any in our uh, cargo container, but I'll double check it. No, we do not. So to get Fecium, what we'd have to do is get creature pellets, feed creatures, wait for them to poop, and then we can get the Fecium. But you know what we're going to do? We're not going to do that. Agricultural research is done. Uh, we're going to go back to expanding our base. We have to acquire a circuit board and aid the scientists to learn how to build circuit boards. So we need to go back to the scientists. How much time we have left? It says they're waiting at their terminal. Let's see if they're if they're ready. They are. Okay. Unknown life form. I passed my test. You, I'm free to explore, free to pursue my passion for structural analysis. Do you have data to operate on? An observatory would supply some. Think of all that might be done. Uh, the Corvax appears to have no memory of our previous encounters. I do not know if they feel reconnected with the Convergence, or if they simply do not recall what they should feel like. I should visit an observatory for them and see if the structural analysis they claim to enjoy will prompt a memory. We're going to accept that. I look forward to seeing the results, Traveler. Yeah, that gets kind of creepy now, doesn't it? But we're going to go ahead and do this line, because that'll get us back to the main overseer. Dee -dee -dee. And we'll head out. Because this leads to our Exocraft guy. Alright, how far away are we? A full minute? That ain't happening. And it looks like we're going to go to the observatory that we had found earlier, so... Um, how far down is this place? Yeah. A little bit higher. And then let's go down. So it says approximate location. What makes us think that it won't be that particular observatory? So this is going to be very interesting. Now watch it be that it's not this observatory. It happens to be another one nearby. You know how that happened last time. Ugh. Let's see what happens. Nope. Well, let's see. Yep, no, that's the right one. So let's see which mission it's doing. Okay, we're still on scientific. Uh, let's go over here. Hey, while we're here, acquire the nanites. Let's get these particular guys. Uh, anything over there? Health. I don't think our health is down at all, but I'll go ahead and get it anyway. Nope, health at maximum. Okay. Data siphon installed. Accessing. The observatory appears to have been calibrated for a single purpose, to locate the interfaces of a being the Corvax call the Atlas. Oh yeah, you're going to want to know about this guy. After many years, the inhabitant of this facility succeeded in their quest, disappearing without a trace. Download the data. That's very interesting. They disappeared. Hmm. wonder what happened to that fella. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and skip it this time. Oh, nope, I don't need to call my starship. It's right here. And we're on our way back. Go into space. 
and we'll jet our way back as things start to appear. Stay up high. That's my freighter, isn't that nice? And down we go. Rich environment, really do like it. And we want to land there. Okay, so we're back to our scientists at this point. Let's go ahead and see what we've got going on. So you're getting an idea of how these missions run as well. That they are just, it's a grind, but it gets you a lot of different things. You see the things I'm acquiring along the way. It's very, very handy. Traveler, while you have been absent, Corvax has detected anomalies. I feel alone. Perhaps the data you, data will have answer? Give data. This data contains no answers, Traveler. Merely the, these blueprints for living glass and a beacon. Cool. Gotta say beacon now. The convergence is absent, Traveler. We, I, can feel myself slipping further. Perhaps that beacon may be of some use. Construct one, and the convergence may find me again. Accept. Corvax is grateful, Traveler. I shall also work on my own solution while you investigate the beacon. So, mission objectives upgraded, updated. Let's check it out. What has it got me doing? Nothing there. So just a sign that I have to construct a beacon. And that's a save terminal, it looks like. A save beacon. Uh, we need two metal plates to make that, so let's go ahead and make them. Made for ferrite dust, of course. And I'm going to put this somewhere special. I'm going to put it over here by my ship. That way I'll also know when I'm flying in which landing pad to, to, to wait at. And you see, it's it's a save point. Now, from a distance, it has a star on it, you'll notice. And you'll be able to see that star from space. That's really important. You can change the color of it as well when you plant this the save beacon down. So, for instance, if I pick this up, okay, it goes into your inventory. I can replace it again, available to build. And look at the top, you've got colors you can change it to. So I can choose a different color. And right now it's always defaulted to the white setting. So I'm going to choose the orange and blue setting. And it will show up orange from orbit. And then you hit return and you place it. And you can see it's got a little bit of an orange look to it now. See? Blue with orange. And what does it look like from a distance? What's it look like from a distance? Low distance. I think it's having trouble building it. See, it's got an orange star now on the safe beacon. So that's how it will show up from now on. Pretty good idea. That way you can mark things with your own colors and stuff. Okay, so we're back to the scientist. Let's see what he has to say. Is the beacon constructed, Traveler? Confirm. We shall wait. It may take time for the convergence to find me. My own research proved fruitless. It yielded only blueprints. So now we got autonomous mining units and atmosphere harvester. Now the atmosphere harvester is kind of handy. Uh, the mining unit, eh, it could pick up certain things. There have been glitches involved with it in the game, so I don't know if the glitches are working or not, or have been fixed or not. But the atmosphere harvester will pull oxygen and will give you constant abundance of oxygen by putting stuff into it. So, return. These atmosphere harvester and mining unit plans prompted a thought. What if they could be friends for the beacon? What if they could make their own convergence? They shall be my children, traveler. This is sounding like Bugs Bunny. I don't know about you guys. I have transmitted a crafted intelligence to the beacon so they would, so that they might live and connect as the Corvax do, but cannot see the world. Bring me scan data so that I might teach it. Operator entity Kudenpo's plan seems desperate, but it does seem to have genuinely made them happier, or at least less anxious about their separation. The Corvax asked me to scan creatures to feed its newly created intelligence. Uh, that's going to be a problem. Except... You, thank you, Trav. We thank you, Traveler. Problem with scanning creatures right now is I've already scanned every creature on the stinking planet. So I've actually got to find a planet that has other creatures on it. So let's go ahead and put this here. Can we build this? Atmosphere harvester? What does it require? Two metal plates, two hermetic seals, and I got ammonia. Uh, I don't have a lot of it, but I do have some. So we can build that, and I'll give you an idea. The mining unit, I'm not as keen on building it will get stuff, but let's show it to you real quick. 
I can build the hermetic seals on my own if I want, but I should have some either in one of these this trade terminal or the other dude over there. Uh, let's get the metal plates while we're here. Yeah, that's not here. Let's run over here. Uh, purchase. Let's see. Hermetic seals. Hey, he's got four. Let's take the two that we need. Uh, do we need anything else while we're here? Okay, never mind. Okay, moving on. Did I see... Oh, okay, so something green. I thought it might have been ammonia. Never mind. Moving on. Hello. Running into walls. Uh, we'll put the harvester by our ship, I think. Uh, let's put it on the other side of the pad here. Uh, cannot build, must place on terrain. Okay, sorry. I'll put it over here. That looks good. Right about there. No, it doesn't have to be hooked up to power last I checked. And see, this one's going to pull out nitrogen instead of oxygen, so it really depends upon the planet. And in order to fuel it, we need carbon or, or condensed carbon. I want to see how it works, because every time I've left the planet, yeah, it didn't work out really well. I came back and it was completely empty. Everything was gone, and that was the big glitch. So I don't mind wasting a little bit of condensed carbon to test the theory out. So we now need to find a planet that I haven't discovered any animals on. Well, guess what? There's one planet in the system I haven't visited. Let's head over there. We're going to scan that real quick again. It forgot. Now we got frost crystals here, which, can, which we can make into glass. Uh, copper, dioxide. I could use some dioxide, I think. Let me see how I'm doing on that. I got 441. Oh, that's deuterium. Where's my dioxide? There it is. Six. Wow, okay. I have a lot more than I realized. All right. Selenium. I forgot to put them away. I meant to put them away. Okay. We'll do that later. We got plenty of ammonia. I thought I had less than that. Okay. So we're in pretty good shape. Good time to check out your inventories is when you're in flight like this and you know nothing else that's going to be happening. So what do we need? We need to discover animals. Now because we're in a populated system with a space station, we should be able to find some place to land that's not just bare ground, if we're fortunate. Uh, pick a direction. We'll go south. Hit the scanner every time it recharges, if you don't find anything you're looking for. These frozen tundra worlds are actually quite pretty, if you ask me. I do like this. Reminds me of wintertime. I do like the occasional good snowstorm. Uh, that's nothing but a drop pod. Yeah, I know. I should do it, but I'm not going to. That's not why we're here, folks. Don't worry. I'll do it later. I currently have plenty of inventory to keep me happy. My ship inventory is another story, but the, especially the technology area. All right, I'm going to do this once more. If it doesn't work out, I'm just going to land. And we're going to land. Looks like a good spot. Okay. All right. So first contact on Guri 5. Get to a little bit of a higher place. We already have an animal having appeared. There's one right there. And that's one. We need four total, but it says that there's six on the planet, so I will probably try to discover all of them. There's two. And we see populated two. That one's clear. I'm assuming we have maybe a flying creature or two. I don't see anything. So if you're curious, go to discoveries, check out the fauna. It'll tell you where they are. So we've got one, two more ground, we have a flying, we have an underground. So two more ground, a flying creature, and an underground creature. All right. So we need to find ourselves more creatures. Uh, if you use your scanner, look for subterranean relics. There's another creature on the ground. We have one more to discover on the ground. Look for subterranean relics. 
because that will signify humming sacks as well might be underground. So let's go check it out. Oop. Really? Yep, definitely underground. So there should be a cave nearby. Hey, look, looks like there might be a cave nearby. Cave it is. All right, so before we go in there, let's take another look around. We have one more ground creature to discover, as well as a sky creature. We just need one more. I may just discover the one more. Call it a day. Yeah, what do you know? Hmm. Yeah. Let's see if he's down here. Humming sacks. Those are worth some money. This will get us out of the weather as well. And if we're fortunate, an animal will appear. This doesn't seem to be a very big cave. And I found that underground animals tend to take some time to show up. But we can stay in here. If another animal pops up, we can discover them. So, three animals. Go figure. Ah, and of course they're going to make themselves scarce just at this right moment. Lots of green. I don't see any reds. One more ground animal, one sky, flying creature. Hmm, 21,000, that's not bad. Okay, where's my ship? That way. Let's at least head in that direction. Okay. And take another look around. We'll go for that sentinel pillar sooner or later. Hey, buddy. What's up, guys? I don't know why I feel it necessary to say hi out loud to ships as they're passing over. My family wonders about it as well. I was playing Minecraft with my son the other the other night, and uh, I kept saying some phrase. I'm trying to remember what it was that I said. Ooh, big guy passing over, huh? Anyway, still no animals. Go figure. Okay, sometimes this happens. Oh, that's what I was saying. Uh, whenever we find potatoes in a village or something like that, the only thing that comes to mind being a Tolkien fan is I always say, Taters precious. Look, Taters. What are Taters precious? Eh, I always love that. Anyway, all right, let's pause for a second while I look for some animals to discover. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Looks like we discovered something. I don't know which creature this is. And there's our fourth one. Let's see. He was a ground creature, so we still have the flying and the underground ones that we have never discovered. I'll take a quick peek, but I don't think the flying creatures are going to come out anytime soon. So, all right. I'll discover them another time. Let's head back to our ship. There we go. And head back to our base. All right, so we're going to head back there, and I'll see you guys in just a couple minutes. Or seconds, as the case may be. Okay, we're back. So, here we go. Do you have the data, Traveler? My child cannot see the world as you see it. To share your scans would, will be to share your consciousness with them. It is a tremendous gift. Hand it in. You can't see me, but I'm actually gesturing as I'm reading these things. I, I don't know why. It just... I can't talk without using my hands. It must be the Italian side of me. You, what sights? By way of thanks, my child has prepared for a blueprint. Prepared you a blueprint. That didn't even sound right. They have learned how to make unstable gel. They hope it makes you happy. Eh, okay. That's great. See, you can make it out of cactus flesh. Here's something to note. You make it out of cactus flesh. So if you grow the plants, like we were talking about, you can produce this. So, good stuff. Anyway, moving on. 
Traveler, this data has raised a concern. As a beacon, my child could receive signals from unknown sources all across the galaxy. I will be unable to protect them from the unsavory thoughts of the Gek or the harsh scans of the Sentinels. Huh. Um, any of you got kids out there? So, you want your eight-year-old to have a cell phone? And to be able to protect them from the unsavory thoughts of the Gek that are in the universe? Sound familiar? If you find ion batteries, I will prepare polyfiber blueprints, and we shall weave them a protective cloak. Okay. I do have them. I don't know if I have enough. Do not delay, Traveler. Their young mind is very impressionable. Oh, good grief. I have to return to the scientists, because I've already got those. Hold on. Just go wait for the icon to appear. Come on. Oh, I need one more ion battery. I'm sorry. My bad. Uh, no, wait. I gotta make my own. That's right. What you make, by the way, out of... What you make out of uh, ferrite dust and cobalt. Keep that in mind. Okay, here we are. Have you found the ion batteries, Traveler? Uh, yeah, I found them. The Corvax looks ancient. Their disconnection from the convergence and their anxiety for their child is taking its toll. Perhaps a battery will help them settle. Keep my own batteries. Thank you, Traveler. It is good we can protect the little beacon, but I fear it may not be enough. You should take a copy of the polyfiber plants. They may be of some use to you. I'm going to start calling my children little beacons. They'll have no idea what the heck I'm talking about. Now, please, give me some time to educate my child. So what does that mean? So we have this. Notice cactus flesh and star bulbs. Again, more plants that you can grow making polyfiber. Polyfiber is actually a pretty decent item when it comes to expenses. And look at the bottom right. We have another hour and a half to wait of real time in order to proceed with this particular mission line. So what we want to do here is we can go back to expanding the base. Now we have to acquire a circuit board. We haven't gotten that far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause our video and we'll come back to this uh, in about an hour and a half, I guess, in order to uh, achieve this. Or actually better yet, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and say we're going to put the video on halt at this point and I'm not going to pursue the agricultural research. We will finish this when the time comes in another video. Uh, so that's where we're going to stand with this, and I'm going to go ahead and end this video a little bit early today. So I hope you enjoyed it. I appreciate your being with us today. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. And as always, as I always end all my videos, never criticize kindness and always be truthful in all things that you do, especially to yourself, because that's where it starts. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Take care, everybody.